My name is Moises Silva and I'm a 16 and I'm studying to be a mechanical engineer. I'm working on studying the mechanical influences of the process of freeze casting. My goal is to understand why we observe certain microstructures in our samples. My lab work entails the use of strain gauges and the application of strain gauges using liquid nitrogen, using different mold materials so that we can freeze cast, doing a lot of thermal correction since we freeze at very low temperatures. The measurements we make with our strain gauges have to be corrected for. My project entailed using three different mold materials so that we can uh, compare and contrast what happens depending on what type of mold we use. This is an aluminum mold, a Teflon mold, and acrylic mold. Here are the strain gauges that we use to measure the strain along the mold. We use a P3 strain indicator and recorder to measure four different channels. This would be the acrylic and katazan combination. After it's frozen, we come over here and punch the material out. And then we can take the material over to the lyophilizer. The lyophilizer sucks out all the water without melting the sample. It's negative 40 degrees and the pressure is dropped really low so that the water can be sucked out and you're only left with the material that we are trying to test. Inside of the sample, there's very specific microstructures that you can see repeatedly. The aim of my project is to explain why and hopefully explain that it's because of the mechanical influences of the mold we freeze in. Working in the labs here as an undergrad is very immersive. The whole experience has been very practical and I can apply the things I learn to the classes I'm taking and vice versa so that the two go hand in hand and I can be a better student overall. Thank you.